There were ten goblins left, and I ran out of time. Do you know how long it's taken me to get here? Okay, I got like 15, then I got 21. I don't know how I went up, but I went up. Now I'm back to 10. It's taking me forever. But that's insanely close, so I'm going to get it. Replay. I think I might do it, but I don't know what's going on. She's like killing my shit. Or she's like deflecting. Like, I don't even... I really don't know what's going on here. I have 50 seconds to kill her. And I think she's being hit by poison damage? Um, I'm not exactly sure what all is going on. But I'm just going to take a guess. See? I don't know what the crap that was. Anyways, I beat it. I mean, this is not my 4. I'm pretty sure it's not my 4. Please let me be number 4. Oh, if it's not number 4, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. To me, forever to do. I um, I had 96 seconds when I got 10 left. And then I had 167 seconds when I did this one. Like, going into the last wave. That's what it's all. You need a lot of time, apparently. You were 167 minus what I have, 48 left? That's math. Um, someone do math for me because I'm lazy. Actually, I don't know what that math is. <laughs> I just didn't want to look dumb. Anyways, is this good? I don't know if these are any good. Um, I'm just going to take all of them because I think that was four legendaries. Was that four legendaries? How many legendaries? That was three legendaries. Okay, that was good to know. I only got three legendaries. So let's go look around. What do we got? Oh, wow. That thing almost died. That was great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, crap. Mm, mm. Yes. Um, this is crap too. Mm, eh. That's crap. Wow, I got ass over here. This is like the worst lane. Holy crap. Look at all that monies though. Why well, don't I don't actually know if that was a lot. Ooh, what is going on, everybody? My name is Gator, and today we're back playing some more Dungeon Defenders 2. Now, I know in the intro you saw that I beat um, Bust Buried Bastille, Bust Bastille Masters. Bastille Ma I think that's what it calls it, Bastille Masters. But, I'm going to show you how to do it. But, for I know it's a lot of butts, but first we're going to open these. It's just the same thing. You get three of these, then you get five, you get a booster, and you get a, you get a thing. And now... Well, we're gonna use that thing now, and let me let me show you what thing is. Where my thing? Where my thing? Here's my thing. Okay, just coming, just going, just going here. Okay, and then you use on this. Wow, I didn't know. I already evolved it. When did I evolve it? What the fuck? I evolved this. When? Did I do it on video? I feel really retarded right now. I haven't have had. I um yeah, I haven't had half my brain lately. As you can tell by my speech, I need, um, probably need a brain transplant. Do they have those yet? Probably not. I don't think they do, do they? That'd be cool if they did, though. I could have, like, someone else's brain. They could give me Einstein's brain. Dude. Dude. Okay, back to the game. So this is what you need to start off the map. You need, you need your, your DPS. Uh, it doesn't matter in orientation. Like, you could have your DPS here, or whatever, whatever. But you need a DPS character. You need a fat man. Well, he's not a fat man. He's your walls, or like, tanks, or whatever. Like, the things that sit in front of what do damage. Well, guess all. And then you need your booster. I use the booster because it negates damage. You could use the, um... Buff beam, if you'd like. It, it didn't really matter. I, or, I've never tested it with this. It might work better. I don't really know. And then you need your DPS. Because poison dart towers are, well, they're poison dart towers. So, yeah. And then you come over here. And then what you do is you go into Bird Bestow. You know, this is probably, you already probably, probably already knew this. Or Bestow Master, sorry. Not Bird Bestow. Bestow Master. You come over in here. And then you hit Cray Game. What? Don't not show again. Yes, I want to proceed. What's it? It's game trying to stop me? What's wrong with this? This should be illegal. I live in America. You I don't know what I was going to go with that. Anyway, so what you do is you come in here. Does it give you a cutscene at the beginning? I don't even remember. Does it? No. Maybe not. No. Okay. So what you do is you come over here. Oh, and uh, I'm going to use the gun winch for speed. I mean, you you don't need all of the speed. Because I had 48 seconds or whatever at the beginning. So what you do is you hit G. And you're sitting here, you know, you wait for uh, Orc Lady whatever her name is and then you hit e as fast as you can you come over here and then you build your wall it doesn't matter just a wall 
and you hot switch, which is your keys. You memorize your keys, okay? You hot switch to your keys, and then you jump onto your speed person, because they're faster, and then you come over here. This is what I use a gun wedge for, basically. It just cuts down like three or four seconds between each. Sometimes you might need three or four seconds. I switch as a wrong character. That's like the three or four seconds that I needed right there, because I'm retarded, and I switch to the wrong character. Anyways, continuing on, you just do this, and that's the same setup every time, except for right there, because the guy didn't keep moving. I don't know why he didn't keep moving. Sometimes it like glitches and the per um, the character continues to move. Don't know why, but it does that. And then you come over here. It's the the same build. It's one poison dart tower. It's one boost door, and then it's one wall or whatever. You could probably do it in many other ways, but this is how I do it. And then after you build all that, you just start the wave because the first wave is always the same. It's always just little gremlin things. They aren't hard to kill, like at all. So I then I build one down here after I've got all that going. Because this lane, it takes forever to walk. And that cuts into your time each wave. It'll be like four or five seconds after every wave that the things are like walking. They're just, just, just flat walking. They're not being shot or shit on. You know, because, well, I like shitting on things. Anyways, they're not being attacked. And that's not good because that cuts down time. Anything that adds time to your time is bad for time management. That was a lot of time. Anyways, this is what you do on the first wave. And the second wave, we're going we're gonna to switch over our waller. And you're going to make sure that no one in the walls die. But wow, what the fuck is going on here? Why are none of you dying? Oh, I placed the orc a little to the left. Oh, well. We can fix that with a with a, what we're going to build next time. We're going to build... Um, uh, pro, um, proton beams. Is that what they're called? I don't know the names of stuff, cause we're gonna build a proton beams. I hope they called. Oh, that's what it's called. Cause then you're gonna come in here and you're gonna switch this character, and then you're gonna hit five. We're gonna walk. This one. You, sometimes you can build it on like during the wave, but since this wave needs help, I'm not gonna do it this time. It's all just just time management, it's like fine tuning and shit. So yeah, and then I just build a bunch here, and then that's it. And then you hit G, then you continue. And you gotta remember which lane is the hard lane. This lane right here is the hard lane, so I need to remember that. Uh, that lane will need help, or it might not need help, but I won't be needing to watch the wall or whatever is soaking up all your damage. Your um, fat man swaggers, as I like to call them. Because, well, yeah, that's that's my reasoning. Well, yeah, great reasoning, I know, yes. I built one here, yeah, right, okay. You also, you really need to be to paying attention to your walls, especially when an ogre spawns down that way. It's the furthest right um, gem. You, I, It's the green crystal. That's where they spawn. They suck. When ogres spawn down there or, or like things like that, you have to go down there because if you don't, well, your Chris is going to die. It's just going to die. And I got lucky with this uh, Griblock spawning here. I got extremely lucky, which means I can do that and leave. Because everything else will kill it. Well, with with the five thing on it, it does like double damage or something like that. So I always drop an upgrade. What is attacking the Chris? Are you serial? One fucking one. Normally that doesn't happen. I don't know why it happened this time. Great. I'll do distract distractions aside. Everything that have that could have gone wrong on this one has gone wrong so far. So I'm hoping that will change. And I don't know why there's like a shadow now on these. There was never a shadow before. I, I don't really change any... Uh, what are they called? Options? Um, settings. I didn't really change any settings, but now they have a thing on them. So also my time is really slow. Um, I'm not going to win this time just because my time is slow. But this is just for the, the, for the purpose of showing you guys. Your time should be a lot, lot quicker than mine. Just because you, you're going to be doing a lot faster than I am. Probably. Definitely. Everything that could have gone wrong. I already said this. But everything that could have gone wrong, went wrong. So you're going to have all your your uh, plasma beams. I don't know what they're called. P-beams. We're going to call them P-beams. Then you're going to switch this in. 
What you're gonna do with this is you're just gonna stick one in each uh, aura. You, and that's literally what you do with this character. You just stick one in each aura. Oh, and also the lens that are having trouble. You can add another PDT, um, which are poison eye tower. Uh, it just makes it easier. So that's it. Then we're gonna hit G, and I know I'm not gonna win. Just, just to show you guys, it works extremely well. Oh, and also if you're having even more trouble, you can um add other things because I don't use all the DU. You can um, add monk stuff. You could add seven, or well, if if you have the buff for seven, makes them like slow down in the aura. If you don't, you can add lightning or lightning strikes or whichever one you have. Doesn't matter. If they as long as it does damage. And it helps kill things faster, faster, not fatter, faster. It doesn't matter. But yeah, oh. And see, also over here, and more things went wrong, which is fucking great. This thing died, and see, I don't have my waller on, which means I'm not gonna be able to put one back up. Which means probably died this round, just because I think this is a hard round or wave. I think this is the hard place right here. So it sucks, but it's life. I uh, would it, I would just have to try again. Normally on this one, I would just straight restart. I would let things kill me. So I mean, you could do that if you like. I I do do that a lot. Okay, if I know I'm going to lose, I just die. I just die. There's no point. I I don't see a point in it because I didn't put a thing here. Because I don't. It's in in my books that's wasted time because there's no possible way I can win. If that makes sense. Cause in in 200 seconds, there's no way I can I can do it. In like, I, there's no way I can do this next wave. And I, fuck, I just realized what I did. Did you see what I did? I started the wave and I didn't. Know. So that that actually really sucks. I wasn't I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what I was doing. And also, you need to be upgrading in between waves. Like there's this little uh, intermediate point right when or right between like the waves starting and this sucks this legitimately sucks how am i what can i do this can you come over here and get in this fucking p beam please liz this sex come on come on be attacked by it. thank you now you get dead you get dead real fast okay now he's dead no, it's okay. Okay, that was okay. I dealt with it better than I thought it would. Actually, way better than I thought it would. Kill these guys. Oh, and also you need to be focusing the ogres. Sometimes they have 5 mil. I don't know what makes them have 5 mil. Maybe the last wave. But, wow. I just got suicide bummered. Why is the number going up? Did you just see that? The counter went up, like, from 28 to 30? Is Maltheus alive? Is there a Maltheus? Because Maltheus will actually make you, uh, you know... It'll spawn skeletons, which makes your number go up. There was one enemy left, and there was 13, which means there were 13 skeletons. That's a lot of skeletons, but they do die very, very quickly. Yeah, there's a Maltheus. Okay. That's why the numbers are going up. Oh, okay. Let's go kill Maltheus, and let, let's lose, because we only have 118 more seconds. So we got Kill him. Why has he got a lot more health than I thought he did? It's only, only 2 mil. Did they add an extra 600,000? Just, just, just because he wasn't hard enough before? See, this is what I'm talking about. Everything's dead except the damn skeletons. Everything dead. Everything's good. Okay. Okay. And this, this point right here, when you have instant upgrade, is the point that I'm talking about, and you can't G yet. I have 80 seconds. I might be able to beat this. I, I don't. Fuck, I didn't do it. Damn it. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, do I have another character that has walls on it? I do. I've st these are walls. I'm gonna do these. Ooh. Yo, I've had enough. Okay. Couldn't even read the words on my screen. I don't know why I couldn't read them. I just couldn't see them. I was like blind here for a second. Oh well. Okay. So on the last wave, what I normally do is I'm normally up there. And I start coming down towards this direction. But since everything has gone wrong, I'm in a different position. And we're going to moonwalk back up here to this character. or to Okay, nothing has spawned there. We're going to go back down this way. Scratch that. We're going to go back down this way. And we're going to help kill this ogre. And after we help kill this ogre, we're going to leave. And we're going to go kill an ogre down here. Then after we do that, 
We're gonna kill another ogre. Can you believe that? Another ogre? Wow, you died fast. Wow, I was just, I thought it had like half HP. Or at least a fourth. But apparently it didn't. It had a lot less. Everything has gone wrong. That could have gone wrong. Yep, everything went wrong. Just everything. I don't even know if that was the time. I'd have to look back at the recording. I don't think it was, but it could have been. But anyways, that's sort of the gist of it. That's just everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. And that sucks. And when that happens, I just I just straight let him kill me and I start over. I have done this about 15 times. I think. And now I've gotten it down to where I know exactly what to do and how to do it. So that's what I was doing. I was just fine tuning it. And I fine tuned it so well that one time that I had 50 seconds left. After I kill everything, which is crazy because that map's pretty damn hard. Why well, fail it 15 times or some shit like that? Yeah, it's pretty hard, Gator. It's pretty hard. But, anyways, guys, I am gonna end this one here. If you did enjoy the video, hit the like button down below, subscribe for more, and I will see you all later. Peace.